Hi loves, it's me KC, also Christina. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my very first condo ever. Now, I have a magic door and this is a speakeasy. Charot, <laughs> It's beautiful sliding doors. Welcome to my empty condo door. Ito na, loves. Ipapasilip ko na sa inyo ang aking condo. The reason kung bakit ko kayo dinala dito ngayon is because gusto kong ikwento sa inyo para may inspire kayo. Yung mga Gen Z ngayon na nag-work na or yung mga millennial na patuloy pa rin nagtatrabaho. I want you to hopefully make real estate. Wow! Ang laki real estate, no? Parang nakaka-intimidate, no? Pag sinabing real estate. Pero actually, ang ibig lang sabihin nun is to have a space of your own. Sana, isa to sa mga maging goals ninyo. Because you're so hardworking. And I know you love what you do. And if you don't love what you do, all the more, na kailangan masaya kayo sa fruits of your labor, di ba? So, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-priority ko na tinuro sa akin ng mami ko. Um, is to put my money into a condo or kahit hindi condo, basta property. So it doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to be big, but it's something that will last a very long time. This is my very, very first home. My very, very first condo na first investment na binili ko when I was in my 20s. The first thing you will see is the space. I really wanted a big space where I can feel that I can have my family over, my friends over. It's a space for entertaining, but it's a very cozy, warm, welcoming space. So before, nakita ninyo sobrang kulay ng condo ko, but now I made it all white, cream, and touches of browns and metals. I love stone, limestone. Which is why, rinitain ko yung wall ko. So if you remember my very first tour of this condo, ang favorite feature ko is the limestone brick wall. Kasi it feels very natural. And it also gives me that feeling na medyo outdoor ako. Hindi ko na feel na parang box shower or anything. Gusto kong ma-feel na may natural element sa space ko. And I wanted also to make the most of my view. So if you come, take a look at this view. Ang hilig ko sa bodies of water. When I found out that this condo would have this view, it was one of the special features that I got sold on talaga. So nung sinabi na may view ng pool, I said, I have to see this, this, this space. This wall used to be onyx. Tapos meron siyang feature na LED lighting sa likod. But I decided to take them down and replace it with a more generic sort of wall. This wall used to be closed. It used to be a room. Pero ang ginawa nung architect ko, which is Tito John, Pangilinan, thank you again for the work you did 10 years ago. This wall ended up opening up and then we curved and extended it all the way to the main door. So because we're already here, I wanna show you my bar. So this is an open space sort of situation that we have. Uh, when you enter, you see the living room right away. Nakikita nyo agad yung kitchen, yung dining room, and that reading nook. So lahat yan naging one space siya, open space. So itong bar, I like the European concept na the kitchen becomes a part of the living space. So the guests also can enjoy what's happening in the kitchen. Kasi for me, I like being able to prepare while still being able to talk to guests. Kaya ko to in open up. Kasi I like the kitchen to be part of the, the living area. Kasi entertainment din siya, especially yung friends ko, mga foodie. Kaya mahilig din mag-workout, ganun. Kailangan ko na nga mahawa sa kanila. 
Okay, now let's come into the kitchen just to show you why it matters na meron kayong quality furniture and quality finishes and quality appliances, ganyan. So this beautiful kitchen setup has lasted more than a decade. I never changed this whole system at all. The way it was more than 10 years ago is still the way it is now with super minimal repairs. It looks brand new. So that's why I really believe na kailangan kapag nag invest kayo sa mga appliances or sa mga designs, it has to be long-lasting. It doesn't always have to be expensive, but usually, or a lot of the time, when there is a little more value, it's because it's worth it. So I don't know if you guys like red or if you even like black, but for some reason, I was very attracted to this kind of lacquered black situation here. Um, I think for a kitchen, it's very appetizing to have red. For me, in my home, sa bahay namin, kasi mga kapampangan nga kami, ang kitchen namin parang may sarili siyang mundo. Alam niyo yun, parang yung kusina parang may sarili siyang buhay. So, siguro yun yung takeaway ko from the kitchens ng mga family ko, ng lola ko, ganyan. Parang gusto ko medyo, pag pumasok ko sa kusina, iba yung feels, iba yung vibe compared to the rest of the home. Pero, masaya siya. It's very energizing. Kasi ang colors for me, sobrang energizing eh. Dati, makulay talaga tong kondo ko na to. Pero, I am actually upgrading this kondo. Kahit na boom lang ko siya, Upgrade siya. Now, I have a magic door. And this is a speakeasy. Charot! Hindi ba? Akal mo, i-bar ako. This is my new business, guys. Speakeasy. I wish. Okay, no. This is the daily kitchen. So, remember, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, the magic happens in the kitchen. Uh, of course, syempre minsan, pag nagpiprito tayo ng mga dried fish or yung uh, sobrang gustong-gusto nating dilis, alam nyo na, like my favorite dilis over there, syempre pag nagprito kayo ng ganun, amoy na amoy, ba? Diba? So sayang naman yung beautiful finishes ng mga condo nyo kung ganun. So, thank God for the developer, nag-open sila ng space sa likod na walang window frame or glass open siya. So, pwede kami magprito dito ng mga paborito nating uh, pagkain Pinoy na hindi ganun ka bango, pero masarap. Ayan. So, this is also the laundry area and the maid's room is over there. Pero, yung ibang staff nandun ngayon. So, wag muna natin siya guluhin. Dito, we have had so many dinners na meron akong mga chef friends na hinire. We have private chef friends come in and prepare dinners for us. So, that there were a lot of memories here sa bahay na to na um, nag enjoy lang kami ng cousins ko, ng family ko, tsaka ng friends ko. So, dito nagpe-prepare yung chef, dito nagluluto, umaandar yung oven, and alam nyo yung sa bahay kapag amoy cookies or amoy roast chicken, ganyan. Parang nakaka-homey vibes, di ba? Parang sarap nung feeling. <laughs> Kasi bahay talaga siya. This table is, um, as you can see, I have a banquet or a little bench. Kasi I really liked the idea na hindi siya conventional dining table. So I have a banquet and then I have my chairs and this can seat six comfortably. Kasi I also have that bar area nga that you can add stools and it's also another table. This table is by Milo Naval, who's a wonderful designer. It's one of my most prized um, pieces of furniture. I put that here including this L-shaped super cozy sofa and very practical bookshelves that we had made. Um, a divider for privacy. And this is my favorite feature sa rooms dito sa house. Hindi siya open dati. Pero ngayon, inopen ko siya with these beautiful sliding doors. Nasa na mas live ko pa sa tara. Hindi ko magawa. 
I'm gonna leave this part open <laughs> para makadaan tayo. Okay? So, come on in. This was my office, but now it has been converted into a bedroom. Welcome to bedroom number one! It's a very, very cozy space. I would stay here. It has its own bathroom. If you look over here, may window siya, which I like kasi may pool view din. Alam niyo kasi, may secret ako ah. Nako claustro kasi ako sa mga banyo na walang window. So gusto ko yung mga bathroom ko may window. So thank God talaga yung mga banyo dito may window. Siyempre naman, nagtatanong kayo, paano yung privacy ng isang tao na dito nakatira? Of course, dinagdagan namin ng window shades for privacy, guys! So, ang... Ay! Wala ka na! <laughs> okay lang, mapubuksan naman dito. The point of this room is it's convertible. So, you can close it up and make it a private space. Or you can open it up and make it part of the living room. Okay, dahil sinabi ko bedroom number one, it means there is a bedroom number two. But before the bedrooms, this is my powder room, which is the guest bathroom. And over here is a little corner na, of course, limestone ulit kasi yan talaga yung nakakapagbigay ng natural vibes dito sa, sa space. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Alika, paso kayo sa private space. The most private space of this condo. The French country style cabinet sliding doors. This is actually my shoe cabinet or my shoe closet. And it's not just one, but it makes up the whole hallway. So the architect made really good use of this space. It's actually just the hallway, but they were able to create storage space in the most unexpected places. So that's what I love about condos is it gives you freedom to play. And if you work with the right people, they'll know exactly what to do with the sort of blank spaces. Over to the right side is bedroom number two, which I also like to call my boudoir or my walk-in closet. This used to be my personal walk-in wardrobe slash dressing room slash makeup room since it's so close to the master bedroom. I just wanted to show you the space kasi for the first time in seven years na bakante siya because nagpa-refresh ako, repair namin yung space, ginandahan namin yung space and dati Nung 20s ko, sobrang kulay nitong place na to. As in, makulay na makulay siya. Ang daming burlolo, ang daming halo-halong design, which we call eclectic. But I think, in the time that has passed, I think this is more elegant, mas lalo siyang kumlas, mas lalo siyang naging elegante tingnan, kasi all white na siya, and really minimalist. So, medyo in life kasi, medyo papunta ako sa ganun. Makulay ang buhay ko, pero yung surroundings ko, somehow gusto ko, purposeful siya. So, ito, semi-furnished, dahil syempre, I want to give the future tenant their own take on what their home will look like. Diba? Kaya yung unit ninyo, hindi nyo lang matitirhan. One day, pwede nyo rin siyang paupahan. So, my God, guys. We're all growing up, talaga. <laughs> yung iba nga, maaga nag-start, talaga. So, at least ngayon, meron na akong income every month na pumapasok from this place. And because pinarefresh namin, na-welcome ko kayo. And napakita ko sa inyo itong sobrang special space na to. Very close to my heart. 
parang hindi ko to pakakawalan kasi um, may blessing to ng mommy ko, ng daddy ko, and fruits ng labor ko to sa pag-artista. Ito yung very first time na naiyak talaga ako nung natapos ko siya at sinara na yung pinto at naiwan na ako sa loob. I cried kasi hindi ako makapaniwala na I can hold the keys to my own place na talagang akin. I wanna thank my parents, of course, for teaching me how to do this. I want to thank my mom for being such a great example of investing in real estate. She made it a reality for me because she taught by example, showing me that it's possible na magkaroon ng ganito. Big thanks talaga. I am so grateful sa lahat ng mga endorsements, sa lahat ng mga clients, all the brands through the years that have trusted me and continue to trust me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for um, making me a part of your family and for always, you know, trusting me for um, pushing your products and making it available to all Filipinos. So, dahil sa inyo, meron akong ganito. And now I'm starting to give it back. So, ayun lang. I hope you enjoyed my empty condo tour this is the very first time i'm showing you this condo as it is today na upgrade siya kasi i think it's more purposeful now and i can share it with those who want to stay hope you guys enjoyed this tour and hope one day your real estate dreams come true see you guys in my next vlog remember there's always a reason to smile <laughs> bye